so you're excited after all? I guess. A little. That's a nice change of pace. Hmm. Your bag looks pretty bulky. What have you got in there? Why do you need to know? You brought your notebook, didn't you? Casey. I'm a journalist. For your high school paper. I'm writing an article. I don't get why it's such a big deal. It's a distraction. You've always got your nose in that thing. Casey, look, I need your cooperation. Your help today. But why me? Why you? I need help. You're on holiday. Plus, I gave birth to you, so you owe me one. Gross, Mum. Imagine if you were stuck in bed all day. N no one coming to visit you, not even your family. Heaven. Pardon? It's only for a few days. Just be good, please. Give me a sec. All good now. See you later, Mrs. By Morris. Thanks, Ted. So what are you going to be up to? I... I'm helping my mum. Mrs. B, good luck. Casey, come on. We've got a long day ahead of us. There'll be no time for dawdling. Here we are. Now, who are you? Um, Casey. Um, Casey. Wonderful name. Very original. Uh... I'm Esther. Nice to meet you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go solve a mystery about a goat. Casey. Casey, come here. Right, okay. All right. Lily, this is Casey. Hi, Casey. I'll be busy in the general ward, so come see Lily if you need anything. Now, your job is to go to each of the patients' rooms and spend some time with them. Oh, Lily, did you find a spare fob watch? Yeah, I think so. It's here somewhere. See if the patients need anything, but otherwise just give them a bit of company. Got that? <sighs> yeah, found it. Great. All right. Catch you later, Case. Bye, Mum. OK, here you go. You can use it to keep track of the time. A lot goes on in a hospital. You can't be everywhere at once. I'll be busy today, so you're going to have to choose how you spend your own time. Can't you just give me jobs to do? You can come back to me and I'll make some suggestions. But you're going to have to make your own decisions. Plus, it's still your holiday. Try to enjoy yourself a little bit. All right. Now, Mrs. Vaughan's room is just down the hall. That's a good place to start. She's really friendly. If I'm not off doing something, I'm usually just here. So head back any time you need help. Casey Morris. My, you must have grown a mile a minute since I last saw you. How tall you've grown. Nice to see you, Mrs. Vaughan. Ida. Please, Ida. We're all friends here. Welcome to the hospital. Come in, please. Make yourself at home. About this airship? 
a little, I suppose. Do you know where it came from? Not really, unfortunately. I mean, the brochure said that it used to be a luxury German airliner. Oh, Mr. Proust would be a good person to ask. He was a passenger on the ship, I believe, back when it was in commission. His room is on the level below this one, in the same spot, I think. I might go and have a look around. Okay, then. I'll see you later, dear. Bouchard? What are you here for? Time to turn me sunny side up? What do you mean? I mean, what is your purpose here? I'm here with my mum. Well, you're in the wrong room. No, I'm meant to be here. Then I return to my original question. As to your particular business in my room. I'm just meant to come to visit and keep people company. Well, I have no desire for company. Good day. Edible chicken part. Three letters. Leg. Really? Um, excuse me. Excuse you? Who are you? Uh, Casey. We met before. Are you sure? Near the elevator. I meant to spend time with you. With each of the patients. Uh, uh. Are you all right? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. I just haven't been given my medicine yet. Now, why are you in my room? I just told you. You did? I'm here to spend time with you. Well, in that case, come in already. Have a seat over there. Don't mind me. I'm just battling this confounded puzzle. Mrs. Esther? I didn't tell you to call me Mrs. And I don't want it. I'm done with being a Mrs. OK. Never got much out of it anyway. <laughs> well, what is it? What do you know about the airship? What business is it of yours? Is it a secret? There are plenty of secrets around here. Secrets in the present. Secrets of the past. The future's the only thing that's clear, really. I want to uncover the mystery. The mystery of the ship. Be careful, Missy. Set out to discover a mystery. The mystery might discover you. I'm writing an article. Are you now? I'm a journalist. <sighs> I'm sure you are. Forget what I said. I know diddly squat about this place. 
except it's staffed by nitwits. Excuse me. Yes? How long did you say you'd be around? Um, Mum said it should be three days. Oh, well, I won't keep you. Off you go. Bye-bye. You're the Mo Morris girl. And of course, that's why you're here. It all comes together. What's coming together? You haven't been told. Well, that's an interesting decision. In any case, if you've been kept in the dark, I'll have to do the same. Apologies, my dear. Now, your name, Prithy. I'm... my name is Casey. Casey, is it? Very well, very well. My name is Neil Avery. You might have heard of me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Come in. Have a seat. Mr. Avery? Yes, my dear? Can you tell me what you know about the airship? Ah, curious, are we? Very well. The year... 1976. The man, Felix Pettigrew, he saw an opportunity that no one else had seen before. A derelict airship floating above a nowhere town. Hey, that's my town. Ah, my sincerest apologies. Within just a few months, he had convinced the town council to convert it to a hospital. And with some clever marketing, he raised capital investment from across the globe. A year later, and here we are, airborne, aboard a modern medical marvel. Do you know where it was built? Oh, you know, Europe somewhere. Mm, Mr. Proust might know, he's Viennese. Why was it made into a hospital? Why? Why not? It's lovely up here. Your curiosity about the ship's provenance is intriguing. I always keep an eye out for what is interesting the populace. Yes. I might leave for the moment. I see. Very well, my dear. 